Hello everyone. Today I am going to make a video gaming t-shirt design. This was a requirement from my fiber profile. So for this one here I am going to of course I am going to do it in a different style because I am not sharing what I did with for my client but I am sharing some similar concepts. So for this design I am using this vector here and this headphone vector. So this one is premium, this one is free to download. You can download from Freepik. I will add the link in my Facebook group. So this is the text I am going to use here for this design. Now before starting that design you can see this is a silhouette image like a black color vector only black but here is some details like different colors but for this one here I just want to take the black outlines I don't want the details the colors so I am taking my magic one tool here then if I just click on this black part of the vector I can select that then if I press ctrl x then the black is gone now if I press ctrl V I have to check that if any details is missing from this area or something like like if I bring this on white you will see that properly like you can see this hand should be on top this part of the game controller should not be visible so we will need to fix that but that's not a problem I am just making it control X cut then I am erasing that part control V to paste now I need to modify this parts so if I select this like this or maybe just like this the extra details that I don't want I can simply erase them now I don't want to erase everything here I just want to erase some part that is overlapping my design here like this part I don't need I can erase that this part I cannot erase the complete area but I can erase a part of it just this part that is inside my hand area because I want my hand to be clean and when my hand is clean this is going to look like the hand is on top of my video game something like that so this part also this part should go on also something like this then this part I don't need I can erase that okay so this is the basic idea that I am just erasing some of the parts here to keep everything like the main graphic style of the vector something like this so that is good I think for this video now when everything is in black like this you can see there are some these small parts are separate from each other so I am going to select everything here then I am going to merge them so when we are merging them it is becoming a one single shape so as you can see if I click on this small part they are just acting like one single shape so that's why I merge them now I am doing this because I don't want to use it just as it is because that is a premium vector so when I am downloading that one maybe some other people is also downloading that same vector so we just should not use it as it is we should we should take vectors from free pick that's not a problem but we should definitely modify our vectors because okay so I am keeping this position like this just I am taking this because the that is the theme for a video gaming design the headphone the game controller and it is just good if you can make it look like a hand is holding the controller game console something like that so you can see I use the transparency now this is looking like this but I want if I want it like something if I want this part of the headphone to be on top of my this finger here because it is looking like I want to make it a give it feel like this headphone is going from inside this two finger so this finger is on top of it that is good but the other one is not so I am selecting the headphone here go to object path and then offset path again same size 10 pixel ctrl x to cut now I am selecting my this hand vector open the transparency press ctrl f so when we are pressing ctrl f it is pasting in front but this part is destroying but I don't need them I just want to keep this part only so I can simply erase the rest of it and that is how it is looking like the headphone is going from the okay for this area here we can 
make it look like the headphone is on top of this part so how to do that if i i have that offset path of the microphone here so if i press ctrl f like this it is going to again paste in front of my game console and again i don't need this part of course not this part but this part i want to keep so it is look like this part is on top of my headphone this part is behind my headphone but this area is not looking very good so because that is because we pasted the offset path of the hand inside this microphone so we need to fix that let's click here then select the hand again go to the transparency then you can see this part is the problem so if i remove that or delete that that is good and it is okay sorry for that sorry sorry basically we want to keep this part so i'm going to inside the headphone here and then inside the headphone this is the part that is making this problem so i'm pressing shift e for eraser tool now if i erase this part that is overlapping here it is going to look good so as you can see right now this part of the headphone is on top of my game console this part of the head game console is on top of my headphone this finger is be behind the headphone this finger is on top of the headphone so something like this so this is just creating a unique graphic combining two graphic that's why we are making a unique graphic okay so that part is done let's focus on some text here now this video game obviously my first focus text this design is everything is about this video game now this therapy thing is also another focus text so i'm going to as you can see i just need and i don't need this too we can make our basic text line so if my therapy text is the focus text here something like this area here then we can okay let's use a font for that one i use i'm using this go everywhere font here this font is really cool and kind of muscular font because this is a video game kind of thing that is looks really good with that so for that i don't need therapy i'm going to use my explorer serif font i don't need therapy so this part is done i am just going to okay i can just keep a copy here to sample the font now i am selecting this to right click break now i need to make them same size wide so everything here i am going to make it make them same size wide like this maybe i am selecting this to go to object transform and share preview vertical make it minus 10 degree sorry minus 10 degree like this for this rotation kind of theme here something like this okay for this area here i just want to make it look like overlapping each other with my hand part there but a little bit this e i want to this finger part of the hand i want it to be on top of my e so i need to make offset path for my that vector group that's good enough ctrl x to cut i am selecting the therapy text open the transparency press ctrl f so as you can see this is how it is looking but this part when the hand is a solid thing it should not be visible through that hand so i am pressing shift m for shape builder now with shape builder i am just making this area fill so as you can see that part is filling but in the transparency whatever we pasted we don't need all of them just need this simple area so i am pressing shift e for eraser tool to erase the erase this part the rest of it that i don't need i just need this small part so that is good okay so i don't need therapy i just need to now for this one here i just i'm going to take my that explorer font this there is a small area we can fix it fix sorry fill this area with that text just like this i just need i just need to play video game so i'm going to use this same font here maybe of course breaking it okay now i can press ctrl r for my ruler tool i'm just bringing in two ruler in both side because that will help me align my text something like this and then this video games i'm going to make it this this font so that is good 
now break them i don't need them to act like a font anymore just a simple design with a good graphic work okay so i just need to play now this area i am just i wanted to make it really big for my focus text so i am i need to make it smaller because i need i just need to play this part should not be bigger than my this video game text so i'm going to object transform and shear again same minus 10 degree to make it same size same angle rotation just like this so that is good for me this area is not looking very good but that's not a problem we can simply go to object path offset path same 10 point ctrl x now i am selecting this group open the transparency press ctrl f it is going to make it cut out like this but as we don't need this all the all of these parts we can erase them so that is good now for this kind of designs this is not looking very maybe not looking very cool but that's not a problem we can okay the arc texture that was the problem here i don't like it so let's try something else here so for this one here i'm going to i don't need that part therapy i just need i'm going to make it control x then paste here i just need to i just need to i'm going to make it this font then video games this one okay so that is done i don't like this arc effect here so maybe just the text placement if the text placement is not good enough then this is not a good design so something like this in stroke mode now i can simply select my this group and my ellipse to align them center wise i think that is good now i'm going to take my this therapy text go to type on path then click something like this press ctrl v to paste it now we can of course do the previous version of the design with share option that is also good so i'm just trying something else because i didn't like that style of design so this therapy thing i'm going to bring that, that a bit down just like this just a little overlapping with my the other text here so that part is good i don't need now this one i'm going to keep it straight just a straight because this is going to be a straight design here sorry for that now i can simply select this one ctrl c ctrl f to paste in front now if i sorry if i select this one i can bring a copy down here just like this then i'm going to cut this text paste it here and as i have the i just text there i'm going to erase this part now i'm going to align this center wise just like this then i'm going to make it a bit up that is good then this video game now this time this video game is going to be bigger in size so no problem with that or just i can simply make it smaller okay that is not working very good let's erase it sorry i am a bit confused today i don't know what i will end up doing something like this okay i am going to make it smaller because this video games is the focus text here so when we are making that part smaller we need to do something to hide that part just like this a bit down maybe then little down of course this one then if i select this three text okay not this text this three text i can distribute the space of them just like that then for this therapy text i am going to make it a little smaller maybe okay that is good okay now that part is done if i select everything i can align them center wise because that was not perfectly centered so that is good maybe i will change the position here so that part is good i am going to just select my this group here 
go to object path and then offset path just like this control x now i'm selecting the text here press control f to paste in front now it is cutting out there that is good that effect is good or i can just simply select this group here text group bring them a little down like this then of course i will need to like adjust the transparency object just like this then press shift m because i don't want this part to be visible so that is good now that is that part is done we are going to do some advanced works here just like this that much is good now i am going to like okay let's try to draw a thunder strike here i am really sorry because i am i always stuck in this kind of stops maybe something like this this and this okay we have another option here that is we can use our this direct selection tool to make changes in this kind of designs just like this then this is maybe a bit okay so that is good enough i think now i'm going to go to effect wrap and then arc something like this now i need to break the effect here then if i make it smaller like this that is good i am going to just place it something like this in this area a bit tilted something like this okay so that part is looking like that i am going to make another copy here to make it a little smaller another small version like this so that part is done now i am going to make them make a copy right click transform and reflect to make a copy of them just like this i am just focusing with my ruler here so that part is done i think now for this part here i am going to make it look like something like this just like this that is good if i select this part i can always adjust the corners then another part here this is just some electronic signs to represent the vibe here if i select this two i can align them in this way that is good for me now i think i need to make it a bit bigger because the area is bigger here something like this maybe it little closer in this area okay so that part is done guys i am just focusing on the graphic here not the text placement here but yes that is always good to work with this kind of graphics okay so for this area here i am going to just draw a line here in this one a bit bigger in size maybe then i am going to use this option here so that is just going to hide my edges but this one should be a bit smaller this one also a bit smaller i need to zoom in here to see clearly whichever option i am selecting from here just like this that is good maybe another one here okay i am making this because i will need this in my other part like if i bring them here go to transform reflect just like this then maybe place it like this okay so that is good enough no problem now for this area here we can do the same but we placed that area in this style okay so everything is looking good let's make them on single color design okay sorry for that the single color is not happening here because we applied the merge effect on my on our this hand graphic so that is good now this is looking like this we will of course add some color variations here like if i take my rectangle here control x control b to paste in back let's make it something like this 
red color let's lock this layer so that will help us colorizing them now i'm selecting everything here except this group then i'm making it something like the, this kind of dark shade of gray that is good now i am selecting this graphic here ctrl c ctrl b to paste in back merge unite now for that one i am going to pick this color so as you can see this is how it is looking but this area should not be visible so i am pressing shift m and then i can erase the parts that i don't want like this parts so that is good okay guys so this is if i just make my this red rectangle black it is going to look like this i am just going to okay that is some drawing i was doing i am going to apply some texture here of course this is the free free pick texture copy this one now for this area here i am going to make it lock the background black layer i am going to make it lock that is not a problem i am selecting them all Control sorry for the control G for grouping now I need to control copy that one now if I select the group and then if I open the transparency control V it is going to paste the texture here now the texture for the texture I am going to make it look like this then placing it here of course I need to make it bigger just like this okay so as you can see this is how our design is looking right now sorry for the idea changes that way i wanted to do but then i did in another way but i hope this will give you some idea guys how to make this kind of designs how to like when you don't like if you are not liking your design then you have to understand that maybe someone else will not will not also like the design so Keep changing until you are satisfied when you are satisfied your customers will be satisfied too so that's it guys for today's video i hope you learned something new from here keep supporting me guys keep sub subscribe my channel if you are new here so see you in the next video guys have a great time thanks everyone